tan. Look at that. <laughs> He's actually got quite a tan. Yeah, go on. Um, it was just a hat I used to wear, and it was like the little kids on the Bisto can. And um, everyone just nicknamed me Bisto. I feel like when I was 13. And it's just stuck. It's just stuck. Um, so, Claire, I mean, basically, as a young girl of 16 or so, you came over here, didn't you? Why? Uh, Were you running away? <laughs> no, yeah. I wasn't running away, but I did feel like that. I didn't feel like I, I was leaving home. I felt like I was coming home. You've been, never been here before? No, I've been coming every year since I was 11. Oh, really? Oh, oh, what, with your parents? Um, first of all, my parents, and then my best friend's parents brought me out all the time. My best friend, Clary. Another Claire. Another and did you Claire. go clubbing with Clary? Yeah, when we were 15, when, uh, my sister took us, because we weren't old enough to come around when we were 15. We got a ferry from Formentera over to Ibiza and went to Pasha. And it was absolutely amazing. And I stood in there and I said, I've got to play in this club. And the next year I did. Woo! Um, right, you've been here for a long time, haven't you? About like seven years. So how do you think the island's changed? Oh, it's changed an awful lot. It has changed a lot. Not just um, more promoters and the obvious, but buildings, everything. There's just everything's more and more. It's become has become a bit of a money pit. The spirit's still here, but it's become a bit of a money pit. Really? Definitely. Do you think it's going to change for the worse or for the better, Claire? Um, I would never say Ibiza would change for the worse because Ibiza is a capital of club land, and no one can take that away. So, you're actually quite clever, aren't you? <laughs> you are, you can speak Spanish, which is actually quite good, isn't it? Yeah, well it is if you're living out here, you do get more respect for speaking the language, definitely. So go on then, Ooh. sing us that song that you sang. Oh no, it's really old cheesy no, song. No, sing it, sing it. Un limón, mid limón, dos limón, de mid limón. Actually, it just means one lemon, half a lemon, two lemons. It's Very, and did you learn that at school? No, 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 no. I learned it here with the bar staff at Paradise. Did you? And in fact, because you worked there at Paradise for what about seven years, you got clock work there. You got tell us some quick history about that. Yeah, um, I was the promotions manager as well as DJing. Um, I lived there basically and helped put together book clock with Corinne Jover, and um, many other one-offs up your Ronson. Way back in the day, it was great, really, really good. And this was all when you were like in your teens. Yeah, in my teens. So you started early, and are you going to finish late? Um, you're gonna, I don't you're know. getting bored of it now. Oh, I'm definitely not bored of it, but I'm just taking every day as it comes. Obviously, I have ambition and I have other things I want to do, but for now, I'm very content. Things are going well here and in the UK, and I'm not going to sit here and complain about anything. We're common and we don't like to use long words, so instead of saying borrow, we go borrow. Do you get the gist? Well, anyway, we do. So, anyway, we've got this lovely girl here. What's your name? Jo. Jo, and she has got some lovely items here. And these lovely guys are going to have to try and borrow these items by giving the best reasons to why they want them. The one that wins as many in the end is the winner of our. Well, then we'll pick you up for a date later on. Calling men, are you? <laughs> I'm over here. Now, a few years ago, if anyone would have asked you to name a club which typified a beta, the chances are that you would have said space. Well, the trouble is, though, that place now charges 40 quid to get in. They've covered up the ceiling, so you can't actually see the planes flying by. So why not head down to Bora Bora? It's free to get in. And when we went down, we had top DJs anyway, Alex P and Brandon Block, though Brandon was a bit wired to do an interview. Well, we're here at Bora Bora, Ibiza's best open-air beach party. There's planes passing overhead, and then it's like, what, 7 o'clock in the evening? And look at it, everyone is just going absolutely mad. Do not think, Miss Lisa Graves. I do, Mr. Colin Rothbard, but I have to say, I think I look a bit pink because I've got too much sun today, and also Colin's got diarrhoea. I've got diarrhoea because, talking of pink, I had a pink burger today at a certain establishment, and I've been on the toilet all day, which really is it's not a good pink. idea. I stuck out the toilet, but luckily Leech is not sharing with me, are you? I'm not, so let's get in there and have a laugh because yes. this is absolutely fantastic yes. and cool. Yeah. Yeah. As for that Bora Bora, what would you most like to borrow from someone right now? I'd most like to borrow a lot of money so I can afford to go out tonight. It's a very good answer, that's correct, but I'm not surprised. And also, I'd like to borrow your aftershave so I don't smell can you so bad. Aftershave? I can't smell it, I thought it didn't smell. Can you actually sniff it's it? It's beautiful. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm oh, positive. Thank you. I won't tell you what brand is. If you could borrow something of someone, what would it be? Um, the credit card. 
I don't know. I don't have everything, I think. You'd have everything? Oh. Shoes. I would steal all the girls in Ibiza. I would steal their hearts. And I, uh, if you could borrow anything off of anyone, what would it be? What would I borrow to anybody? Yeah. A new body, perhaps. Some new trousers? I think trousers. I present it to the world. Would you? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> well, I'm sat back room at Bora Bora with the one and only Alex P. All right. I'm fantastic, thank you very much. A little bit tired, actually. I've been Never up all mind. night. Look at no, 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 I'm not complaining about it. Just letting you know I'm a little bit tired. I've been up all night. We've actually found some people. You are from Switzerland. What's your name? Yes. Yes. That's a good name. And what's your name? My name is Gertz. And you're from, from Germany. Germany. Yeah. All right, then. So let's tell our viewers. What time did you start? Uh, well, we did El Divinos last night. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Blocko was uh, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> no, he's, on, he's on good form, Blocko, at the moment. Uh, then we went down to the mezzanine bar and proceeded to get drunk now. And now oh. we're out. And the time is half past seven. You've had no sleep? No. So, and then you're going on after three out, you too? Sundance? Yeah, I've, I've got to go and play at Sundance now and then God's Kitchen. What? So you're going to do a through? You're going to have, a be have, a, have your bed? Uh, it's normal. It's a normal three-day bender, isn't it, I'd be fair. What is all this? You're wearing sarong? <laughs> yeah, that's a sarong. You're, you're a yeah. 90s man then, aren't you? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's very good. You're wearing dresses and you don't care. Yeah, Mr Beckham wears a turn. Well, that's true, actually. How do you yeah. know about him? Oh, you read our newspapers. <laughs> no, I read the newspapers and I was in London. Do you? Yeah. So how's it going with Brandon Block on Kiss? You're still doing all right? Oh, yeah, no, the, uh, the radio show's going brilliant. We fly back every week for that. That's what's so tiring. We do know, four days here and three back in England. It was in Cyprus last week. Is it was, cool, Iron Apple? Yeah, which is brilliant. Different scene. Is it scene. good, though? Yeah, it was, it was refreshing. It was, uh, we did cream in a club called Pizzazz. It's about two and a half thousand. It's mainly garage, though. Mainly garage pods on there. You don't normally play that, though, do you? No, we didn't play garage. We played mental techno and freaked them all out. And they all had a fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you and Brandon Block, you are bosom buddies, aren't you? Yeah, I love it in the bits. I know you do. I saw you cuddling earlier. Is there more to it than that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Purely platonic. <laughs> yeah. I think he wants more out of the relationship, though. So what do you think of this club, then? This. Why is it so good? And can they try not to swear so much? Because we can't really put that in. <laughs> yeah, relax on the beach all day after a club. And then get a bit, have a dance, get a bit hot, straight in the sea, right near the bar. It's got everything you want outside. And I have to say, you always, he's got his little air in a bun tonight. Look at that beautiful hair. Can you not let it down for us, Rapunzel? Rapunzel, let down your hair. Oh, let down my hair, really. Oh, look at that. Tarzan. Right, you look like Tarzan. It's going to be great since I last saw you on telly. Oh, no, it's going to grow and grow every day. I mean, it's something that comes with age, my love. Would you never die it now? Nah, it's not that. This house is progressive. <laughs> If you were an air stewardess, what service would you most like to provide? Uh, pilot. Something off the pilot. Plenty of sex. Are you good at sex? Average. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Especially if it was a blow-up pilot. Yeah. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah. What have I ever been offered when I'm on food? What were you not offered? What that you would like to have been offered? And don't you dare say what I think you're going to say. Yeah, what I am. If I was an air steward or just a passenger? An air steward. What would you offer people? I don't know. And also, right, uh, if you were an air hostess, right, what service would you give to someone? <laughs> the full Monty. The full Monty? <laughs> yeah, the full Monty. Oh, what a one, Mr Alex P. <laughs> in Ibiza and Bora Bora is a fantastic club if you haven't been you've got to go now then we are going to take a short break right now but don't go anywhere because I'll go mental I'll, I'll doomed everywhere because you'll miss all this yes in Ibiza as well our lovely Dan and the very sexy Nadia go all the way to Clockwork Orange meets the gallery and they speak to hi this is Graham Park and you're watching